organized by Elmira Ibrewar and RT Ender. And today, I will perform a return demonstration in oxygen therapy. So, for the procedure of oxygen therapy, first, all we need to do is to determine the need of oxygen treatment by performing a respiratory assessment and verifying the orders for the treatment. Um, this is to ensure that the patient is in need for oxygen therapy. Next is to do hand washing. This is to deter the spread of microorganisms and to prevent acquiring infections. So by this time, I will just perform a dry hand washing using a, um, alcohol. So after doing hand washing, we will now proceed to gather all the required equipments. Um, this is to uh, in, uh, to make the or save time for the therapy procedure since all the equipments are ready. So for the equipments, we have here a flow meter with humidifier filled with sterile water. A nasal cannula, a monkey wrench to connect the flow meter to the oxygen tank, a full oxygen tank, and a um, gauze pad, and also a no smoking sign because as we all know that oxygen is combustible. So, uh, for the no smoking sign, we will post this to the patient's bedside. So, after gathering all the equipment, we will um, crack the tank. Um, this is to um, ensure that the tank is um, or has a oxygen and also to remove the dust accumulated uh, in the thread of the cylinder outlet. Then, after that, is to connect the um, flow meter to the oxygen tank using a monkey wrench. Then, after connecting the flow meter to the tongue, we will now identify the patient and explain the patient the procedure and to review the safety precaution necessary while oxygen is in use. So, um, by explaining, uh, by uh, identifying the patient um, and expl explaining the patient the procedure, this will alleviate the um, anxiety of the patient and to promote cooperation and especially when um, as an RT um, it promotes uh, in giving a safety precaution it promotes a safe safety precaution to the patient and others by giving a pertinent information so maayong adlaw sir um, ako di ay ang RT enter and duty karon so um pwede ba hibawan ang sagani atong pangalan sir okay Let's see ano o oh, si Mr. James de la Cruz pila na atong edad sir okay 50 years old so um karon sir kay uh, mag ano mag oxygen therapy ta so since nagbaba ang imong oxygen um oxygen sa body and dili ka maka um dili mo ma normalize so e oxygen ka na mo so um diri sa um since e oxygen therapy ka na mo sir mag provide lang ba sa imong mga watcher o ka nang dili lang sa manigarin yo diri sa sulod sir um um okay ang kaning mag kuan ko sa imong oxygen therapy sir dili lang dili man ni siya kaning kuan kaning sakit nan invasive ni siya sir makatabang ni siya sir sa imong paginhawa para ma-normalize ang imuhang 
um, oxygen sa imong lawas. Get on, sir? Baby. And after identifying, identifying the patient and explaining the patient, the procedure, uh, we will now um, assist the patient into a semi fuller's position. This position will um, give the patient best lung expansion or chest ex expansion and to enhance the breathing of the patient. So, sir, um, um, position lang tika, sir, is kanang more semi pida sir, kay para ano ba, kanang effective, para effect, ma effective ang atuang anong therapy. Ana, sir, position tika, sir, ha? Then, after um, after positioning the patient uh, to a semi follows position, next is we will connect the nasal cannula to the um, oxygen attached with the humidifier uh, filled with um, sterile water so that because um, um, oxygen will force through the water uh, reservoir and then you medifies before it delivers to the patient to prevent dehydration of the mucous membrane or dehydration of the nose of the patient. Then after that is to um, turn on the turn on the um, the tank for a um, turn on the tank for the proper functioning and then um, turn on and then um, observe freely the flow of the oxygen to the tube and then feel the uh, air on the tip of the nasal cannula the uh, tip of the catheter then um, after that um, after that and we will uh, adjust the letter gauge as prescribed by the physician so um, as the physician's order um, I will deliver a um, three liter per minute to uh, by a, a nasal cannula to the patient so in calibrating the uh, flow rate I will um, I will uh, observe the the letter gauge and as we have seen in the letter gauge there is a metal ball and the metal ball should be above the uh, amount of the flow rate um, ordered by the physician so since it is a three liter per minute the metal ball should be above in number three or three liter then after that, we will now uh, check for any leaks um, in the system. So, since there is no leaks, we will now proceed to put the nasal cannula to the patient. So, by putting the nasal cannula, we will first put the nasal cannula to the patient's um, nose, then through his ears, and around his, the patient's head. Then, after, adjust it comfortably under the chin. Then, after, is to, um, um, is to put the uh, go spot to the patient's um, ear beneath the tubings if necessary because um, go spot will helps the uh, will helps for irritation for pressure and also for skin protection then after that is to um, uh, breathe uh, after that is to encourage the patient to uh, breathe through his nose with his mouth closed because uh, breath, uh, well, breathing well the patient's nose with, the, with his mouth closed 
in car uh, gives the optimal um, delivery of oxygen through the patient's lungs then after that um, record the time started and the also the um, time started the um, the um, oxygen flow uh, per minute and also the um, response of the patient to the ther therapy uh, by by recording this is to to um, identify the uh, respiration uh, of the patient the color and also um, other assessment to, to be able to know the effectiveness of the therapy then after that is to give a signaling device to the patient uh, so that uh, uh, by this it will helps the patient to call the attention of the medical staff staff and after that um, um, do uh, we will do aftercare and then after doing a aftercare, we will do a hand washing. After doing a hand washing, so since um, since uh, for this demonstration, I will just do a dry hand washing. This is to deter the spread of microorganisms. And after that is to chart the significant information or the significant data. And then after is to return for return for uh, reassessment uh, to the patient patient to check for the improvements of the therapy. Then after that is to remove the nasal cannula for every um, for every eight hours and then um, observe the nerves of the patient if it is irritated or uh, bleeding but bef be, um, before that we will we should also inspect the um, equipments on a daily ba basis or on a time basis uh, daily uh, or a time basis this is to check if the there's any leak or there's is any malfunction of the uh, oxygen therapy and also to to um to be able to identify if the humidifier is still filled with sterile water then after that we will now proceed to remove the nasal cannula um every eight hours and observe the nares for um irritation and bleeding bleeding so for the discontinued uh, use for the oxygen uh, we will now just uh, turn off the oxygen valve and litter gauge and then remove the the nasal cannula to the patient and then disassemble the equipment and do aftercare of the equipment so sure tang tango na na po ang Kuan ha, naisal pa nila kag mananata, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And that's all for all uh, for the procedures in administering oxygen therapy.